All right, back in the field with the track stars, Ryan Righteous, Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. What's good? All right, this segment is sponsored by NectarDistro.com. You now have an opportunity to go to Nectar Distro and get signed up for your music distribution needs. We've got some new services that we're going to be rolling out to you real, real soon. It's going to be something that you really can't get anywhere else. So we want to make sure that uh, you are all aware of what Nectar can do for your music distribution. So go to NectarDistro.com today. Check it out. Hit us up. Let us know if you're interested. We'd love to work with you. All right. All right, so um, all right, so we we did uh, an NF dissect a couple weeks ago, and honestly, I wish we would have just done this one. We're gonna do today NF featuring Hobson Lost. Now this this one is kind of crazy to me. If you don't know, so I I know only a little bit of Hobson's story. He actually you know did the whole Christian thing for a second and then went back. Um, so he. If you listen to his verse on this song, he actually sounds, I want to say more like a Christian, but like he sounds like a Christian rapper, um, which is very interesting. I would love to talk to him about that. But um, to me, this song is this song is incredible. So we're going to break down the lyrics for all the people that (laughs) that are like, how come how come you read them? The whole point of this segment is to just look at the lyrics. Y'all mean to yeah. rap like NF? Y'all want me to do it like that? <laughs> um, but but um, yeah, we're just breaking down the lyrics, not the video, not the style, not the the flow and all that kind of stuff. Just what they're talking about. That's it. All right. So uh, let me let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Can y'all? Let me see this. All right, uh-huh. y'all. Um, can y'all um, see this? Well, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, dope. All right, let's try this out. Self-awareness, pride's a coat, and yes, I like to wear it. Buttoned up, don't like to let no air in with a pair of gloves that I hope doesn't perish. I discovered, though, when I get holes in them and I let joy in, I'm in higher spirits. My mistakes are like a screaming parrot just repeating lyrics. I can barely bear it when I'm lost. Road is narrow. I'm looking down it like a gun's barrel. Aren't we all searching for the serum that could help us breathe and leave out leave our state of peril all of us have made defensive scarecrows that we scatter around our fields and treat like heroes when they scare away the things that we should cherish because we're too embarrassed to admit the fear is that we're lost yeah but what does it matter i guess so combative inside of me uh inside of me is a personal canvas the paint can be splattered get messy when i start to get rattled the heart of a savage i'm quiet when i lurk in the shadows but something don't add up i don't want to be over dramatic But look at the data. It's obvious that humans are fragile. We tend to get mad at the ones that call us out. But the fact is we need someone that's uh, that'll be honest when we fly off the handle. I admit I throw a fit when I begin to unravel. Keep my wits been off the uh, been off the grid. But now I'm back in the saddle. My intent is not to rent. I like to own what I value. I could sit here on the fence or maybe pick up the paddle. I like to roll against the current. That's the way. That I travel opposite of what the grain does. Got the brain of a rebel. Take initiative. I'm diligent on every level. I never could settle. I like to keep my foot on the pedal. I'd love to pack arenas and all. But what I really want to do is learn to handle my thoughts. And put the reins on them. Show them I'm the one that's the boss. And put them back when they get out of hand. I'm breaking their jaws. I'm taking the flaws that told me. Wait, I'm taking the flaws that told me I could never evolve. Uh, then pull a bane on them. Ask them, oh, you think you're in charge? You ought to know better. Ain't no way around it. I'm flawed. The traits that I want, they say I can't afford what it costs. Um, and then the pre chorus is, uh, but I manifested this. Failing's how you grow and learn your lessons, kids. Take the worst and try to make the best of it. Because when you fail, just know that it's a test. And if you can learn to pick yourself back up again and train your brain to uh to not be such a pessimist, it's okay to make mistakes. Just don't forget that there's a high road, but I skip the exit when I'm lost. All right. So he says I'm lost a bunch of times. All right. So this is Hobson. While these burdens are heavy, I'm hoping it don't bury me. I used to be joyful and skip so merrily, but now I'm too cautious and tiptoe carefully. My mind left and there's nowhere to be found. I'm a bag. Uh, I'm a big old parody because it's no fair to me. And now I'm at the point where I'm spending a grand a week on hypnotherapy. Look, I'm trying to wash my I'm trying to wash away my sins. I got a group of loved ones that ain't my friends. And if I ever take an L, then they might grin. 
uh, and they all want to see me uh, stay in the cage I'm in. So when it comes to anybody, there's no trust for no one. Man, so what? My whole plan's to go nuts. My shoulder's ready for more shrugs. I'm going ju I'm going to judge any anybody trying to enter my circle with no love. My sanity's gone. I'd rather be torn from this planet. They planted me on. Yes, that's a reward. I'm actually bored with having a sore heart. It's torn apart from a family that I don't have anymore. Um, I was living so oblivious with millions. It really was a pity, huh? Uh, it's kind of funny what a penny does mix, mixed in with a mini buzz. Life's got me by the neck with a blade against it. Guess I was running late for the train and missed it. The only thing I feel is pain and vengeance. So I'm going to act out like a raging misfit. And every verse I lay going to stay sadistic. You want to hate me? Good, great, terrific. You'll never see the day when my anger's dismissed. You better go and change your wish list, cuz. Um, and then, da, da, da. You manifested this. Do not do not treat me like an, some adolescent kid. I'm praying. For, this is the same thing, I believe. All right. So... That is lost. What do y'all think? Um, I, if I, I okay, the visuals for this is fire. Um, to say, um, the the lyrics. I mean, NF is he does his thing, and I like you said, Hobson did. If 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 I wasn't, if I didn't know NF was a Christian rapper or Christian or whatever. I would be like, yo, that second dude sound like he he's searching for something. You know what I mean? Like it, it sounded like that, like he was going back and forth. Um, so I mean, and F does his thing. So, um, but I do have a question. Does those balloons in his video equal like what is that? What do y'all think that is? I think they represent the lost people that he's helping find. So like it, when when it gets to um, Hobson's part, he's buried under the snow or sand or whatever. And yeah. he helps him up. And then when they go walking around, they see a bunch of other balloons. So that's other p lost people, I believe, that he's helping pull out of the dirt. That's my interpretation. And if you if you if you know about Hobson, um, I've had the pleasure of knowing him for a minute. He's always been very in tune with himself and has been searching. Yeah. Even did try to go CHH for a second. Um, if you look at a, a video on a record he did called Mine. Um, where he was searching and asking God for a lot of questions. However, when he was seeking, there were certain folks um, that I, I, I won't speak on that completely shut him down. What'd you say? I said to the break. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they just completely like, were not good representations of wow. men and women of Christ and did the whole judgment thing. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? And so when you hear, you know, but he's always been very um, in tuned and open to um, coming to Christ. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And so like when I heard this song and I saw that, I was like, okay, I wish I could have been a fly on the wall for their conversation within the studio. You know what I mean? Or when they were working on, when they were filming this video, the fellowship that kind of happened with that. Um, because it's not, it's, it's not like by happenstance that Hobson sounds like that. You know, if you really listen to his other other music, you know, last five, six years, you can see, you know, where he denounced it and he was he's been tough. He's been on, on a tightrope, you know, what I'm saying and doing his tug of war thing for a minute. Um, but uh, I definitely was happy to to to, to hear that song and, and, and listen to those and listen to kind of where he was coming at because he's unapologetic, too. Yeah, you, know, you really go down the Hobson uh, path, you'll see you'll, you'll listen to his stuff and be like, he, you know, he asks a lot of questions, you know, um, a, a better, a better, I feel like it's a better a version of what Jordan Lucas did, but he did that unapologetically um, sound and really did his research. So, you know, uh, so, I love the record. So I got a question. Um, I, I'm not, no, I, I, I haven't seen that Hobson doesn't curse. Did, did NF ask him not to? Like, I know NF, I guess has made a decision not to curse, but did is did he ask Hobson or did Hobson just intuitively know, hey, this is NF, I know his deal, let me not curse on this record? Because like I said, like if if any of y'all wrote this verse, it would it would fit in perfectly with what we do. So, uh, how do you think that conversation went? I feel like it probably goes back to that conversation we were having earlier. You know, know your oh, space. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Like, you know, if you're gonna come on this side, then I know what you do already. 
You know what I'm saying? Like you're coming on my record, not the other way around. You know, and I think he's he's a he's a genius when it comes to his lyrical capability. Anyway, so he don't really have to cuss if he don't. You know what I'm saying? Like Hobson's Hobson's is, is, is ill with it. So I want to focus on one line right here. Can y'all see this? Make it big, Sean. Make it big. I need to make it bigger. Y'all can't see it. <laughs> no, we gotta change the view to speaker view. Oh. Okay, I, I see why you can't see. Okay, but let I me just let me now. just read it to you. I can um, see it he said we tend to get mad at the ones that call us out, but the fact is we need someone that'll be honest when we fly off the handle. Now, I wonder who he's talking. I, I assume he means people he actually knows, but I wonder if that extends to people like us. Because I, I wanna, I wonder if he hates us. Y'all, have you ever wondered that, Ryan? Especially you, because you you don't like him, but. I wonder if I wonder if uh, NF hates the critiques that we've even even when he's won our line for lines, we do say a lot of stuff that's kind of critiqueish about him. And mm-hmm. I know his fans that listen to our or watch our videos are like, "Y'all hate him," and it's like, "No, we don't hate him." At least me and Jeremiah yeah. don't. Um, so <laughs> I hate, I've never said I hated him. <laughs> no, I've never said I hated him. Yeah, yeah, you okay? But um, no, but, I, I said that. I said that the. I said I'm not for the dark and gloomy stuff like the the last that's what album. He, that's I all he does. Just, I know, but I'm saying like I'll listen to him. I think he's a dope artist. I, I like him as a uh, as a as an artist. But as far as like that's never my mood though. I'm always happy and cheerful and upbeat and stuff like that. So when I listen to it, it's just for this show. I don't buy his projects. I do buy his projects, but I don't buy them to like sit there and listen to him over and over again. It's a one time thing for me. Sounds like you said what I just said. So, um, but I, I like him. It's not that I don't like him. I do like him <laughs> as a person, but I'm talking about as an artist. So, as an me, artist, I like him, but I don't. I don't. That's not my. It's not my mood. So I don't. I don't. I don't. He's not in my playlist because I don't go looking for that type of music ever. Jeremiah, help me out. Does that sound the same to you? No. Oh, no, um, thank you, Jeremiah. But... <laughs> I'm trying to get somebody canceled. I, I, well, I think the thing is, I think what it is is me and you can vibe to whatever it is. And Y'all are lyricists. Ryan, I'm not Ryan, an artist. I'm Ryan artist. Ryan Ryan is more like, you know, if if it doesn't have that trap sound, leave me alone. If it doesn't have that <laughs> if it, if, the only thing I think he likes about him is that he raps fast. But rather than that, it's just you know what I mean he's just like it's no, just, I, he has a he has a sound though. You know what I mean? And I, I think and that's what I lyricist. like about him. That's what I, I like. He's about a dope him. lyricist, but it only goes so far when you're a fan versus the artist yourself. Y'all listen. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Ryan. You all listen to other artists and you get where they're going, right? You get a direction. You understand them for who they are. I don't go that far in the rabbit hole. I'm just like, okay, you put out a song. I listen for three minutes and forty one seconds, and I'm done. Yeah, but like I, Sean, I, I, the way Sean dissected the actual the visuals of the video. I saw the video and I was like, they stayed in one place the whole time. I don't get it. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Somebody also said that the balloons were Burton's. Like, she's yeah, I saw that. Was yeah, they were black balloons. That was kind of yeah. strange. Yeah. She's got them in like every video, though. The balloons. Yeah, are yeah the balloon thing is a motif. But yeah. um, somebody said I may have skipped something. So let me let me see. So they wanted me to focus on this line right here. Um, I'm praying to the Lord with the book of James, hoping He gonna add my testament. So they, they thought that was a pretty dope line. Um, what do y'all think about that? Well, here's the thing. Mainstream artists or like semi-mainstream artists, they know Christian imagery. So if I'm getting on a song with Ryan, prime example, if I'm a mainstream artist and I get on a song with Ryan, I know what Ryan Lamar is about. I'm like, okay, so maybe my verse needs not to be about the normal stuff I'm rapping about. Let me rap about X, Y, Z. So I kind of like somebody, I think somebody said it earlier. So I think, I think he knew that. And I think, um, I think honestly, that's why we had that conversation, even that Drake conversation. It's like, are these people searching or are they just using Christian um, um, imagery? You get what I'm saying? Like, I think that's one, two different things. So sometimes people can use Christian imagery because everybody's spiritual right now. So mm-hmm. when you're spiritual, you can say blessings and you can say, um, the last shall be first and all this other stuff. But if you're really searching, it's like, man, I need to like repent and turn away and, and change my life. You know what I mean? So I think that's the question to ask. So um, Jesus Rodriguez says, it's just that you didn't get his perspective and the way he does stuff. And he was talking to me. Um, 
I I don't I don't I don't agree with that. I, I like NF. Every time yeah. we talk about this, I defend like I I am a product of the Eminem crowd. Like I'm I'm with it. I, I'm all about it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I I don't I don't understand it. I think I think some people like when you watch a video with a with a ton of people talking, you just come away from it as they said such and such. It's like, dude, I didn't say that. Yeah. Ryan and me aren't the same thing. So, um, you know, it's, it's a bunch of opinions. I like NF. I like his music. He saved in my playlist, the one that I actually listen to. You know, it, I, you know, people put out playlists and stuff. It's mostly promotion, you know. But, like, the list of music I actually listen to, he has multiple songs on it. I like NF. So, uh, I just think if you can't hear alternate perspectives on something, that's, that's on you a little bit, I think. Um, mm-hmm. This is a discussion. We're not, we don't screen everybody to say... Everybody got to like enough on this discussion. No, every, you can say whatever you want. I think the last time we had um, that's not Christian podcast on here too. So um, I think the last time it was kind of like half and half people rock with him and half people didn't. So I guess if somebody saw that, they probably would be like, everybody don't rock with him, especially if you just saw one part of the thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think we got love for him, man. We, we, I think, I mean, we've been rocking with him. Well, we've been rocking with him when he was doing his pop rap stuff. So. Yeah, man. Like, so yeah, I got so a question long. for Ryan Lamar. Go ahead, man. Um, Ryan, you represent something of our culture that I think has never really been done before to the to the to the level that you have achieved it at. Right? You've made you've made godly messages for the world to see, but it hasn't been overtly Christian. Right? Are we on the path? of getting to the right places, of influencing the right people to hear, understand, and accept what we do when they don't go to church on Sunday or they don't open their Bible um, up but once a year or for holidays, they recognize God for Easter and Christmas and stuff like that. Are we on the right path as a body of entertainers to get that message out the right way? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, our, our ministry is done behind the scenes on sets. You know what I mean? Like not in churches. You know, I, I have this, I just think I, I got this uh, this Christian starter pack, and and it's usually filled with music. Like you know, biz, bizzles in there. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I, I gave it to Jabari. Not that he wasn't a Christian, but we, I was getting them music, like, <laughs> and I was just like, and I and I'll just and I'll I'll get them, and it's, and I'll, Track Stars is in there, Rapzilla's in there, just like these different things that are kind of are like gateways um, to to bring people in. And it does, and so, cause a lot of the people I speak with, when they think of Christianity and they think of church, they think of what they what they saw growing up. You know what I mean? They have no, there is no, you know what I'm saying? Reference for what, you know, like track stars looks like, you know what I'm saying? They're like, they, they think, soup tie etc from 1995 or whatever like that it's 2021 and so definitely um we're on the right path the fact that everything is is so social now and we're influencing people differently i think that being able to connect with people like hobson you, you know what i'm saying who have known or, or people like king batch or whatever who will ask questions you know what i'm saying yeah. when they ask the questions that's when i feel like oh okay cool and you see certain people like, so, so Don Benjamin, right, attends a lot of God over money's Bible studies. I had no idea. And that was a seed that was planted two years ago, right? You, you know what I'm saying? So you never really know what, what, uh, what's, what's being rooted in people when you're just planting seeds. So I think that we are definitely um, on the right path and on the right track. Mm-hmm. Despite what anybody says, I think that we are influencing more people than we know. Um, and bring more people to Christ than we are aware of, but it's not really up for me to, to be aware of. It's just it's just enough for us to continue to do what we're doing and keep being a representation of excellence. And I, so I think that we are. I think so. Yes, to answer your question, yes. And, and, and last question, uh, yeah, last question. Are we doing are we doing things the way we want it done? Are we doing things the way they want it done? Are we doing things the way God wants it done? When you say we, who, who's we? We is a we is a inner we that call ourselves the body of Christ that are trying to reach the lost generation. Some are, mm-hmm. you, you know what I'm saying. I think I think we is like that's a, a general statement, so I couldn't yeah. say like everybody. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I think some are. I think the ones that are doing it are doing it very well. 
Okay. Um, gotcha. You know, but you got to be aware of people that, you know, uh, perceive or seem to be doing it the right yeah. way. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I like what I like what Ryan Lamar said. Um, that's what this show is about. This is a space for the Hobsons. This is a space for the people that are searching um, to ask those questions and not get judged um, where everybody doesn't have the same thought where you can bring up a thought and we'll actually go through it and see if it's valid. You know, um, even on the first topic, we had different thoughts about what it means for the marriage bed to be undefiled. You know, mm -hmm. there's no there's no judgment on what your answer is. We're talking about it and we're going to try and figure out the answer together. Right. So that's what this is about. So. If you know people that are searching, that are looking, make sure you tell them to join this community. This is a space to ask those questions where if you are diehard Christian, you know, I'm, I've been doing this for years. That's your job to help answer questions, to help the people that are seeking that aren't all the way there yet. This is not an exclusive club that you have to be all the way there to, to be admitted. No, this is for the people that are right there on the line. Like, I, I want to love God, but y'all suck. You know, that kind of feeling. This is a place to like air those out, like, like really kind of get to it. So speaking of that, if you're on YouTube, make sure you like subscribe, uh, share this video, leave a comment. All that stuff helps us to get the word out. So if, if you if you'll do that for us and join us live Saturday at noon, um, that's when we we get down and we do everything we, you see us doing now. You know what's next? Let's actually just let's just get into it, man. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Righteous, Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go.